What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We're about to get into Quan breaks his silence. Daisha jealous of Ty's pregnancy and DDG's sister shades the up. Let's get it. And it's still a bit confused on what's actually going on between Rissa and Quan. Now, recently, Rissa has been putting out statements saying that they will be addressing all of their supporters soon. Well, recently, Quan finally released a statement as well. He states to all of our supporters that genuinely concerned and want to know what's going on. I just want to apologize for my silence. Things have been extremely tough on me mentally, and I've been spending my time taking care of my health. I love y'all. I hope you guys understand when the time is right. Both of us and I will sit down. And are genuinely that. concerned and want to know what's going on. I just want to leave. And hope you can explain here. They are going to explain what went on, but they're going to do it on their time. But now let's move on to this next topic with Daisha and Ty. Now, ever since Daisha and Ty dropped this video, a lot of people were stating that the vibes were off and they were feeling like Daisha is actually jealous of Ty, not to mention how many times she exposed Ty pregnancy. Now, she stated that she didn't do it on purpose, but it was done so many times that people started thinking that maybe Daisha is doing this on purpose because she's jealous of Ty. Well, Daisha did answer a few questions on Snapchat after people kept stating she was jealous. So someone asked, but doing what on purpose? How do you feel about people saying you're being mean to Ty and you're jealous? Daisha responds with, personally, I've been called mean since I started doing social media. So personally, I could care less. I'm the same way with everyone. Call it what you want at this point. People will still feel how they want to feel at the end of the day. So why stress it? Oh, that's the very, you, you said that with your heart. I'm sorry, I'm looking at Tesseki, and not Tesseki, Sukiyana to get her feet sucked. Ugh. Why would I be jealous of my sister? Hey. Like, let's just make it make sense. What is there to be jealous of? That's my sister. Hey. Why would I be jealous of my little sister? Hey. Hey. Right. Say hey. hey. I hope you feel better. <laughs> <laughs> now that's a fact. I can't say that everybody hey, always hey. does. <laughs> Girl. Hey, y'all. Look at my baby. Don't say nothing about her hair because you got to get it done. Period. And Des is dead on that. Because <laughs> mm. they got to go to tomorrow. But I can say that people always say that Capricorns can be a little, you know, mm -mm -mm. which we just keep it a stack. Like, I'm not finna sugarcoat shit. I've been the same way since I started doing social media. Like, I feel like I have gotten softer for sure over the years because I was even more like, please get out of my face. But I also can read energy very well like I know people I don't want to be around people I do want to be around and I've dodged a lot of bullets being the way that I am I've dodged a lot of fucked up situations being the way that I am and being stern I know what I want and I'm not yeah I know I'm not saying nothing I'm trying to let her get it out I'm settling for nothing less I know this whole life what's about right uh. wrong I know what's this, this, this or that like it's no in between with me it's literally no in between. It's either left or right. Mommy. It's not a left, right, and a middle. Mommy. So y'all be wanting it to be a left, right, a middle, or up, or down, underneath. It's not that. It's literally left or right to me. And most Capricorns, is that's just what? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna make you some steak and mashed potatoes. Mommy, so mommy, mommy. Oh, that's where I think, and a lot of people are very sensitive. Stop being so sensitive. Like, me and my sister have a good relationship. Like, y'all are trying to make people project. They be seeing what's going on and like thinking about what how their sister did them, and their sister was probably making the same faces, girl. Y'all trying to make a problem that ain't a problem. Like, y'all trying to make y'all trying to find a problem to make a problem <laughs> when there could never be a problem. <laughs> Like, 
there would there there just would never be a problem. She's practically my child. Like I practically raised Ty. Like this is baby. like <laughs> when she got beef, I got beef. Like there's no like I said, it's left or right with me. It's not Look. left, right, in between, underneath, under foot. Under right. Woo! All right, y'all. No ma'am. G and Dub have an older sister named. Oh my God, Dub was big as shit. That's crazy. Dub lost that way. He did that. Tawana. Now, Tawana never really liked Dub's girlfriend, Brittany. Now that they've broken up, she's taken to social media to talk more crap about Brittany because someone stated in her comment section, they left her sorry A in the hood. Now they're speaking on the whole family moving to Los Angeles and leaving Tawana back in Pontiac, Michigan. So then Tawana responds with, I live very well living and loving life on the West coast. Dummy head. You want a house tour? So Tawana is basically stating she doesn't still live in Michigan. She's on the West coast. She's just not in Los Angeles. She's in Vegas. The person responds with you bothered. Clearly. I hope Brittany beat your a, but I hate that people say somebody bothered just cause they respond. I really hate that. Trying to be messy. You couldn't wait to hate on Brittany. You mad about them Rick still LOL. Then Tawana comes back and responds with negative. She mad that P whack and she can't keep a man. Now then Brittany goes back onto Snapchat and she responds with, to be honest, y'all can think what y'all want about me. Can't be the good guy in everyone's story today. My last day speaking on any of this, I have bigger and better things to worry about now. You know, I didn't get that original post that Tawana made, but obviously it was some shade thrown towards Britney. Whereas the one opposed this, she's seemingly very happy about the new addition to the family. Sources say she still wants that fade. And that was sent to Britney. Y'all being messy as hell. And this was her response. So you guys know Dub does have a new girlfriend. So I'm guessing Dub's sister is happy that Britney is officially out of the picture. That new girlfriend <sighs> did attend the family trip with them. So anyways, you guys leave your opinions on that and everything else in this video. I want to know down in the comment section below. Oh shit. Corey dropped this video. <laughs> All right, y'all. Let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below, girl. Let me get to this Corey video. We about to react to it on Twitch slash the Patreon skip. All right, let's do this, Corey. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> uh, y'all, I needed my video to be eight minutes. Tap in, bye.